This is a Game Caviar production. All right, now having it in the Game Caviar Studios, uh, Christmas Eve. I hope everybody's having a good Christmas if you celebrate Christmas or just having a good day in general. I want to give you guys a spoonful of caviar right now. And this is something that I learned about today. And it was absolutely, it was posted online two days ago. But this is a very, uh, what is it? This is a, a really a recent event that happened in Iowa where a guy actually, he fired his female employee for being irresistible. Yeah, he, he fired her. And um, the, uh, you know, it, it sparked a legal battle because you just can't fire somebody for being irresistible. The funny thing is, I get, the Iowa Supreme Court has actually upheld the, the decision to terminate this woman. Uh, what is her name? What is her name? What is her name? Hold on. I was just looking at her. I mean, well, Melissa Nelson. Melissa Nelson. She's a dentist. I guess she was like a dental hygienist or something. I don't know. Uh, irresist irresistibly attractive is, is in quotes. So that's what he said. You know, she's a 32-year-old woman. She's working, whatever. And then they had the 53-year-old uh, dentist. He fired her because she was irresistible. And one of the things that he said was uh, his wife, I guess his wife wasn't putting out. So... He described her as being a Lamborghini in the garage that he couldn't drive, so he fired her. You know, how much of a dick move is that, you know? I don't know when, let me see, when did it happen? When did it happen? I guess it happened a while ago, but it was the the, I, the decision was up, upheld on December 21st. So, I don't even know whether she's going to get any sort of, what is it, like financial compensation for that you would think that if somebody if your boss called you into the office and said you know what you're too sexy you're too hot i cannot have sex with you so i'm going to fire you uh you would think that that would be that there would be a law that would prevent that you don't get fired for coming to work and looking uh, irresistible as it says on here you should get fired for not showing up for work or showing up for work and doing a horrible job at it but you know, if they didn't fire the Detroit Lions for going 0-16 that year, then I guess... But she gets fired for being coming to work and looking too good. It's, I mean, it's crazy. And you, you go to Google and just type in uh, Melissa Nelson, and it'll pop up. And you can read these stories. And they're all pretty much the same. But they have different... Uh, different. Um, they add different details in each one. And, and it was crazy. Let me see what it says. The... A judgment made by an Iowa Supreme Court on Friday, December 21st, Knight's decision to fire Nelson for being too irresistibly attractive and therefore a threat to his marriage was legal. How, I mean, that's where do you where, where do you go up to the guy and say, "Look, you got to have some self-control here." Okay, she's hot. That's great, but that doesn't mean that you. How is her level of attractiveness? a threat to your marriage that's crazy you know and so if you so if okay she's fired but if you have three other females that apply to work in that place let's say two of them are hot and one of them is you know not hot or whatever and the one that's not hot what if she doesn't have the require or as many qualifications as the other two but you're gonna pick her because she's not hot there would be i mean there's no real gauge of what's hot or what's not because everybody has different tastes so you really can't say that oh you're too hot i think you're too hot you're a threat to my marriage i'm gonna fire you i mean that's just that's weird man that's i, I think that that's just it's wrong number one and it's kind of like I mean, it's prejudice. I mean, you're prejudiced towards nice-looking women. That's weird to me, and it should be illegal. Uh, you just don't do things like that. If she's if she does her job, then uh, th there should be a problem of how how hot or how not hot she is. And if you think that just her being hot alone is a threat to your marriage, then you need to get some self-control. That lag right there. That you see that lag that happened right there. That did not happen anyway. It, that was it was a complete different scenario when I was playing in game. This combat theater is really a way to see the lag in this game. But anyway, 
uh, let's get back to it. Uh, I guess his wife really initiated this. Let me see. Nelson insists she was blindsided by the firing. Apparently, nice Knight's wife, who also works at the practice, made the ultimate resolution to terminate Nelson after she discovered the friendly text messages exchanged between the assistant and boss. So, the, see, it wasn't just the guy that was like, oh, you're too hot, blah, blah, blah. It was his wife that see that maybe he was getting someone aside. Maybe some he was getting maybe he was getting someone aside. I don't know. I don't know. Let me see. But it turns out Knight's decision to fire Nelson because of her attractiveness threatens his marriage was totally legal. Yeah, I said that. Uh let me see. The Iowa court led by Justice Edward Mansfield took into consideration that Knight had an all female staff and the fact that Nelson had been replaced by a female, according to the Iowa Civil Rights Act, Knight's actions were motivated by feelings and emotions and not gender therefore they cannot be considered unlawful discrimination that's crazy how do they have a law for that like i'd never want to go to iowa that's crazy they have weird laws like i mean is that a, is that a is that a law in every 50 state i guess i mean i don't know uh let me see nelson and her attorney page field to strongly disagree with the judgment handed down by the all all male high court <laughs> that's this story just gets weirder and weirder the more you read into it uh, let's see here. Let me see. Uh, these judges sent a message to Iowa to Iowa women that they don't think men can be held responsible for their sexual desires and that Iowa women are the ones who have to monitor and control their boss's sexual desires. That's basically it. She's right. And the uh, let me see. The dentist, his attorney said, while there was really no fault on the part of Mrs. Nelson, it was just as clear as the decision to terminate her not was not related to the fact that she was a woman the motives behind dr knight terminating mrs nelson were quite clear uh he did so to preserve his marriage he did so because he has got no balls and his wife told him to that's what that's the real reason that's what he had to that's all he had to say it's like it, I, the reason the motives behind dr knight terminating mrs nelson were quite clear his wife told him to that's all he had to say because that's basically it that's basically it. They had some friendly texts that the wife seen, and, uh, and who knows what those texts had said. They could have just been saying, they could have just been joking around, and it, I mean, it could have been something that would been more than that. But still, this whole situation just seems weird to me. If you've heard about this, let me know. Uh, if you think that this is just a screwy situation, also let me know, and we'll talk about it. I'm not having it in the Game Caviar Studio, and I'm out. Oh, gee, baby. This has been a Game Caviar production. Like this video and subscribe for more.